my TED Talk, welcome. How's everybody doing tonight? We good? Yeah. I can barely see shit. My name's Louis Baker. I'm 26, but I look 45. <laughs> Woo! And I'm okay with that because I'm part of the greatest generation because we blame everybody else for our problems. Yay! <laughs> and I blame that pesky internet and Facebook corrupting the young people, you know? I grew up when YOLO was the fucking biggest thing in the world, so I blame celebrities like Steve-O, Charlie Sheen, because they taught me that doing drugs and alcohol was cool. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Speaking of alcoholics I'll never meet, uh, my dad left. <laughs> but that's fine, I'm from the northeast of England, we call that a right of passage. Uh, <laughs> Creates a shitload of problems for me though that you don't realize till you talk to other adults. So when I was in university, we used to play uh, Would You Rather? And my friend asked me, Would you rather fuck your mom or get fucked by your dad? <laughs> Room's a bit torn, not sure where to go. Is anybody here with their parents tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, no way! <laughs> in the world because it's the closest thing I'll ever get to a father-son bonding experience. Oh. Quickest game of catch in my life as well. <laughs> That's what my mum tells us. Um, if you can't tell, I'm a fat piece of shit. No, you're not. You're oh, that's very positive, thank you. See, I used to take my top off, but apparently people felt uncomfortable with me showing my tits. <laughs> Sam Smith gets to do it, and he's a gay icon. I do, and I'm a predator. So I met in the middle with this. Now, before this next bit, it would have been really fucking perfect if I had some light. So I'm going to ask everybody in the crowd to do me a quick favor. Everybody, throw your torches up in the air. Light me up like a Christmas fucking ham. So. Oh man, this feels like I'm doing a fucking arena shit now. Hey, this is the closest I'll ever get. Oh god. So, the problem with my life is I'm a piece of shit. And at one point I made very good friends with a tattoo artist. And I would call him at three in the morning sometimes and my life became like the movie Memento, where I'd wake up with weird tattoos and try to figure out what they mean. I have a giraffe made out of dicks. <laughs> and I still don't know what for. I'm disrupting a timeline somewhere. And I can't fix it. I had an awful one where I woke up next to a beautiful blonde lady from Russia. And I was like, holy shit. What did I do? And then I saw this. His name's Steve. <laughs> And I asked her, what's this? And she said, we got matching tattoos that my son draw. <laughs> and so I had to leave that town immediately. I don't even have a dad. I'm not ready to be a dad. Uh, but anyway, I love being fat. <laughs> so I don't want to sit for a minute. I love being fat because nobody expects jack shit from you. First time I had sex. I changed position and she was like, oh my god, you're so athletic. <laughs> <laughs> I played rugby for 12 years and barely ran. Because they were just like, yeah, the big guy, he's got it. Look at me fucking tits, I don't have shit. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh. <laughs> the worst part was... Not only was I fat growing up, I also like fell over a lot. And so if it wasn't enough that I got bullied during winter when my nipples were rock hard, I was just falling down hills, just <laughs> sad little boy without a dad. I also got bullied, I know, right? It's funny. Also, this is gonna collapse in the dark. I can't believe I just fucking came on stage during this, but we're gonna persevere, right? I saw this thing the other day, right? It was on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, some bullshit where I was wasting half my life. 
and it was a really romantic thing, and it said, send this to your yellow. This was someone who makes you feel at home, makes you feel safe, makes you feel warm inside. The only problem is my girlfriend's Asian. I don't know. Because like, if we're out in the bar and she says, that's my white guy, I'm OK with that. But if I introduce her as my yellow? <laughs> The thing is, uh, I do have a penchant for pepper, pepper, for that. Oh, fuck you! I'm doing comedy in the dark. I don't care about this other life. Um, the reason I met her was I spent the last four years living in China. I moved there when I was 21. Any of you with children around that age, tell them to be a bit smarter with their fucking lives, because nobody stopped me. I said to my family, "Fuck it, I'm moving halfway across the world," and they said, "You got this." I was a fucking retard. <laughs> because I trusted the people who introduced me to that job. And what they told me was, in China, masturbation is legal. 21, just graduated university. I thought, hmm, that doesn't sound right. They sent me a police report with a white dude's name on, fully in Chinese, and I was like, fuck. It's illegal to masturbate. Didn't think of Googling anything. All I Googled is, what is Asian culture? Took my Japanese yen, got on a flight, and accepted that I would never masturbate again in my life. So, I'm gonna need another beer. This is getting awkward because we're in the dark. So I get there, first week is fine, until I have to go to my teaching job in a school. That's, um, that's when it gets difficult, you know? Can't control the erection. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course. I'm not a pedophile. Uh, but I wouldn't have been caught out there anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's because over there, some genius decided that the school uniform for the adult woman teachers was a mini skirt and a tank top. So I walk into a school, 20 Chinese women who have never seen a white dude before, and they're like, oh my god, look at him! This is what they thought was attractive. <laughs> this is their bar, thank you. Can I get another cheers? I'm dying up here, people! <laughs> cheers! cheers! <laughs> it's a sipping beer, you gotta enjoy it. So anyway, a month goes by, I haven't masturbated. And these teachers just keep fucking teasing me by playing with my balls at school. I fucking lost this joke, haven't I? Um, anyway, I have a terrible relationship with all my family. It's not just my father. It's because I never know when to switch off between being a comedian and a normal person. And I saw this thing on Facebook recently where it was things you can say during sex, but also at a family dinner. Would anybody like to throw one out there? This is nice. This is nice. That's, that's a nice family friendly one. Anybody else? Nice breast. Nice breast. That's lovely. I said, you've got a bit on your chin, grandma. <laughs> Within seconds, my entire family who hadn't contacted me in months called me telling me I'm a piece of shit. And I had to remind them that I get my tits out on stage to make people laugh. I think it's pretty obvious that I'm a piece of shit. Speaking of being a piece of shit, I like to do a little bit crowd work when I'm on stage. And um, it's, it's really difficult for me because, um, what did you say your name was? Right. Yeah, your name. Jimmy Connor. Connor, what's, what's your name? Bianca. I'm really trying to get just a clip of me that'll go viral. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys watched the Oscars recently. You look lovely tonight. Uh, anyway, so. <laughs> my, Slap him! <laughs> please do, I deserve it. Your um, wife's name out of my mouth. Thank you! Friends call me Lava Lamp. 
Thank you, someone got that fucking joke. It's because I'm really jiggly. And 40 year old women love me in their bedroom. But um, <laughs> people often ask me before I apply for a gig to describe my act in like a sentence or like a short summary. And I think it's it's like your last shitty relationship. It starts off good, we have a drink, I show you me tits, you think everything's gonna be great. And then for like five to 10 to 15 minutes, I'm screaming really fucking weird shit at you and you don't know what to do. But in the end, it works out great because I'm just showing you me dick. No, I'm kidding. I'm so sorry. I'm dying on my ass. I'm doing comedy in the dark by flashlight. Please give me a break. My name's Ben Lewis Baker. Have a great night. Let's get the power back on. Oh!